tonight, the latest on a high-speed, long-distance police chase involving thieves targeting high-priced cars. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. We appreciate you being there. One teen is in custody after luxury cars were stolen from a Waukesha dealership Sunday morning. The suspects led police on a high-speed chase that started in Milwaukee County and ended in Northeast Illinois. CBS 58's Danielle Acato has the latest from Waukesha. Police say they saw nine vehicles coming out of this dealership right here and going on to I-894. Now that's when a high-speed chase began. Waukesha police believes it to be an organized crime teen group from the Chicago area. Occupants have their faces covered. Say that there are five or six vehicles from various dealerships. Multiple police agencies responded to reports of a burglary that took place early Sunday morning at the Jaguar Land Rover car dealership in Waukesha. There was a maintenance worker that came in. He noticed that the service door was broke. They did arrive in a minivan that was stolen from another community as well. Waukesha Police Captain Den Bauman says eight dealership vehicles and one customer car were stolen. West Dallas police say they located a group of cars on Greenfield Avenue that then fled south onto Interstate 894. All right, we're in pursuit. Speeds are approximately 100 miles an hour now. We're on the interstate. And onto southbound Interstate 94. West Dallas police say at least one car struck stop stakes and crashed into an unknown driver on I-94 in Pleasant Prairie. No one was hurt. The driver, a 17-year-old from the Chicago area, was taken into custody. We hope that we can be able to get um, these other eight into custody rather quickly and bring them back to Waukesha where they can be held in front of their peers in this community to, to say and, and to realize that we don't tolerate this stuff in Waukesha. As of Monday afternoon, at least six of the nine cars stolen from the dealership have been recovered. Police are still investigating. Reporting from Waukesha, Daniela Cado, CBS 50 News.